Hello everyone, my name is Heather Autumn and welcome to my channel. Alright, so I am currently in my apartment as you can tell and life stuff has been happening. I've been kind of out of commission for a bit. Um, of course you guys didn't notice because I have backup videos, <laughs> but um, I recently went through a surgery and all kinds of things like that and so I wanted to kind of update you guys. But first I wanted to show you guys how to make this pomegranate ginger paloma. been into palomas a little bit since I moved up here and usually I get them in like you know grapefruit or orange juice flavor and it's just right for the seasons so this is the first time I've ever had to make my own syrup for a drink and I'm kind of excited about that and I'm especially excited because this only has three ingredients that I have to worry about so for this I will need a half cup of honey uh, one inch of ginger chopped and eight leaves of mint. All right, with that out of the way, let's start this recipe. You wanna add a half cup of water, and you wanna add the honey. And your ginger. And get that boiling over high heat. Once it is boiling, you want to reduce the heat to low and allow it to simmer for two minutes. Once the two minutes are up, you want to remove from the heat, add in your mint, and cover. And let that steep for 10 to 15 minutes. You can take your syrup and put it through a sieve or mesh strainer into a glass jar. And here is our finished syrup. Ooh, that's, that's actually really cool smelling. So I can smell the mint and I can smell the warmness of the ginger. And uh, so this is still pretty warm. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and uh, come back to this later. So that syrup actually can last two weeks in the fridge. So if you're having a party or for Thanksgiving, you can make it ahead of time and just keep it in there. And then when it's time for drinks, you can use it. I don't know about you, but for me, like part of the fun of making drinks is the process. Look, I will be honest, I enjoy just pouring a glass of wine once in a while too, but I feel like with mixed drinks, taking the time to make something special or learn a new recipe that you can kind of share with your friends is always a lot more fun. Okay, so on review of the recipe, uh, you can make two versions of this. Um, one is in a pitcher and one is just for glass. So if you're doing just a glass version of this, you're gonna wanna fill this about halfway with crushed ice. I don't have crushed ice, but I will put some ice cubes in my glass. You want to add in a half a cup of pomegranate juice, and remember it's best to not have the fruit cocktail or from concentrate. Try to get it as close to just 100% juice as you can. And then you're going to add in a third of a cup of grapefruit juice, followed by the juice of half of a lime. If you, like me, don't have a lime, I'd say feel free to add in a splash of lime juice. Then you're going to want two to four tablespoons of that ginger syrup that we made on the stove. Follow that with two to three ounces of tequila. And then I realized that my glass was too small, so I had to transfer it to one of my wine glasses. Then you're gonna top this all off with either ginger ale um, or ginger beer, however you call it, or some sparkling water. I'm back and I have my pomegranate ginger paloma. So let's give this a try. All right, I really like this one. So the syrup does kind of bring, I wanna say it brings a professional quality to the drink. It tastes something like you would get at a bar or a restaurant. It's not just straight up simple syrup. It's, you know, got this hint of the mint, but it's not overpowering. The ginger isn't overpowering. It kind of mixes really well. Definitely go with the ginger ale as opposed to sparkling water. I was able to taste a little bit of that ginger ale, but it didn't feel watered down. All right, so for those of you who tuned in um, for the health update, mainly my Instagram, 
Instagram, I've made a couple of announcements on there that I went in for surgery. Um, that was to remove a rather large uh, lipoma, which is usually not cancerous. This one had a cancer risk with it because it had been there for so long and it started growing into my muscle tissue, uh, which was not good. They actually had to remove part of my muscle for that. And one of the reasons it had been there for so long was that um, I was in a difficult marriage and anytime I wanted to take care of it, I was told to either ignore it or that if I lost weight, and this was back when I was super thin, um, that it would go away. And I talked to a doctor and they told me that that is definitely not how you get rid of lipomas. They usually have to be surgically removed. So once I got out of that situation, um, I got the one that was here removed and I just got this one removed. Thankfully, it came back as benign or non-cancerous, so that's great. So I wanted to kind of update you guys because um, thankfully this is being done in the month of November, which is all about food and drinks and things like that. But currently, I really can't leave my home home for any kind of long extended periods. I can't lift certain things and I have to be really careful because I'm still really recovering on that side. And so I'm kind of homebound. <laughs> but like I said, it's kind of good because I get to do all these recipes. And I promise you that when December hits, it's going to be big. I have lots of plans for that. But I want to let you know in case you're new and you joined and you think that this is just a food channel. It's not like that. I'm just recovering. <laughs> so to that, I want to say cheers. Thank you so much for watching. And if if you really enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It all helps my channel. So again, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!